Hi and hello, I am Nuclear Fun, and this is the Basilisk Heavy Destroyer. It's designed to be a successor to the Manticore, one of my older ships. So if the design looks familiar, that was the plan all along. Uh, it has a lot of turrets and a lot of weaponry, but just very small interior and hunger space because that's well that's the concept of destroyers in my little universe. We have missile turrets here on the sides and on top and bottom. Those are um, the same as on the Manticore. At least in design, the interior have, has been changed. And we also have gun turrets on both sides and bottom and top and in front. So the rest I think is pretty self explanatory. We have a little bit of creeping in the middle, some detailing, and here is the docking port with the USD dock and the main entrance. Let's hop in. So, and let's look. Uh, entrance hall with uh, anti-personnel turret and some docking space which is now invisible as it should be because it's empty here we have some uh, teleportation room so transporter room and transporter control for cargo and personnel and there's the entrance to the crew deck. So, ah, that's automatic. Uh, a little, a little recreational area. The entrances to the escape pods. Hopefully never needed, but in the case of emergency, just step in and push the button. There is well. Living space for officers. Two of them have to share one room, and soldiers. They have to sleep in bunk beds. Poor guys. There is the hygiene compartment, so showers, and most important room of all, the mess hall. Then, well. There are two elevators for the three decks. There's hangar and the command and control deck. Let's start here. Uh, here uh, we have uh, some smaller rooms like a brick, a toilet, and sick bay with operating table and everything. There is the captain's quarter and some storage area and the command and control room or the bridge. Uh, I recently watched the expanse so I tried to get some ex uh, inspiration from that series which is pretty cool. And I really like the designs, especially the Martian warship designs. It's very utilitarian and realistic in the same way, so well, that's just things I like. The rest of the ship is held in military colors, so grey, grey and various shades of grey without going into too much shades of grey because we all know how that turned out. That was a bad joke on a movie, so don't watch that movie. That's not worth. 
Uh, well, that's all of it. Of the bugs here, we have the ex escape bots. So they get thrown out by the new, how they are called? Shootout rails, I think. Shootout rails, yeah. And then there's also a hunger deck I haven't shown you yet. So small hunger with storage areas and that's a cargo container and one of my standard shuttles. Uh, here in the back or here below you can open the doors. And bring the docking clamp in forward position so you can easily dock or undock the shuttle. And with the shuttle in the backward position, you can close the doors again and they close out and well, you can hardly see the doors. So uh, the turrets are all self-sustaining so no need for ex uh, docked reactors. Well I tried docked reactors but they didn't look that good and they produced a lot of lag so no docked reactors, but as already said, not even necessary because turrets ha uh, are docked reactors in themselves, so all self-sustaining. Well, except the famous turrets, but they don't count. And well, some notes on the weaponry. We have. Missiles, missiles, and even more missiles, and some turrets, and some cannons. Missiles, missiles, more missiles, more missiles, and the heat seekers, an auto missile. So that's on a clock. And every 16 seconds, you get a volley of heat seekers. So that should fill the sky with missiles and your enemies with dread, but that's why it's called the basilisk. And that's the ship, that's all. If you have questions, uh, feel free to ask them. The download link should be in the description and it's downloadable on the content section of Starmate. Then bye and have fun!